Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes will go face-to-face on this week's edition of WWE SmackDown. Comes off the heels of Cody issuing a pretty strong response to The Rock on Raw. The Rock has kept poking and poking and poking. He's made things personal now between him and Cody Rhodes uh, on the road to WrestleMania 40. We know we're getting the tag team match, The Rock and Roman Reigns, against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. That will lead into night two uh, with the main event being Cody Rhodes challenging Reigns for the title in either a clean match, normal, one-on-one, or it will be bloodline rules, which I've given you all the reasons in other videos as to why I think it is a sure thing to be bloodline rules and why, in fact, maybe The Rock has to pin Cody Rhodes. But everything we just talked about has really been a lot about The Rock and Cody Rhodes and not about Roman Reigns. And that's why The Rock has now left Roman Reigns no choice but to do something very important the next time he steps in the ring, which will be on this week's edition of SmackDown on Friday. And when you look at this picture right here, (laughs) this is the photo of a man who is not amused. Roman Reigns is not amused in this photo, and we've talked about it, right? You see all of the kind of little hints they've dropped along the way. If you're just seeing the, the channel here for the first time, I've done numerous videos now looking at all the little tiny hints and clues that they've dropped Along the way, in these other segments involving The Rock, Roman Reigns, and The Bloodline, and Cody Rhodes as well, um, go back, check those out. You'll have a better idea of where we stand right now and why what Roman Reigns is about to do next is very, very important. Quite possibly one of the biggest things, most important things maybe, that Roman Reigns has done yet in a WWE ring. Again, look at this man. He's not amused. He's He's not exactly thrilled about what is going on right now. This is, I thought, the perfect screenshot of seeing maybe how does Roman Reigns think about this entire situation that has played out since the WrestleMania 40 kickoff event in Las Vegas, which that's been forever ago now, it feels like. I think this image perfectly sort of encapsulates it. It's Roman looking like someone who, and remember, this was back whenever Roman asked The Rock to acknowledge him uh, as his tribal chief. And of course, The Rock agreed, said, I acknowledge you, my tribal chief, all this other stuff. So this has been weeks ago, right? But I still think this is the image that perfectly captures where things stand for Roman Reigns. He is someone, (laughs) again, I just, I keep looking at this thing. I'm like, this is, this is Roman. Like, this is where he's at right now. But he's in a situation where everyone now is kind of looking at this as though Roman Reigns is a complete sidebar, as we called him, right? Like, he is someone who is a distant second, third, whatever you want to call him, to everything else that's going on with The Rock and Cody Rhodes. It's all been about The Rock and Cody Rhodes. Sure, Reigns' name has been mentioned a couple times along the way. He's been thrown around. You know, Cody brought up the the side chick thing and calling The Rock that to Roman Reigns and all that. But he's not been the focus. Roman has not been the focus. And we've mentioned in previous videos how it's clear that Reigns has gotten more and more frustrated by the fact that the crowd's not acknowledging him the way they used to. Instead, what are they doing? They're spending their time cheering for The Rock or calling out The Rock, all this other stuff, right? The Rock's getting all the attention. Roman Reigns is not getting the attention. And so you could see him making this face as he hears everyone talk about why is he not being a focal point here on the road to the biggest match of the year, the WrestleMania main event on night two. That is the biggest match of the year in WWE. It's the most important match with the highest stakes in the company this year, period. But yet, he just feels like Roman's, or The Rock's cousin, right? And I pointed out in the previous video, when The Rock cut his promo in Memphis, he called Roman Reigns my cousin. He didn't say my tribal chief. He said my cousin. And that was one of many times that I think we've seen Roman being set up as the guy who is just there. He's someone that's there with The Rock. He's not the guy. He's there with the guy. And that's how it's felt for Roman Reigns. And so that's why I think on this week's SmackDown, you are going to see a situation where, again, The Rock has left Roman no choice here. This has to be Roman Reigns. I mean, I really believe this. I think this has to be one of the best promos, if not the best promo, that Roman Reigns has ever had in WWE. This has to be something that is as good as it gets, and it has to play perfectly into everything that has happened now along the way to get here. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. So if we look at this entire situation, right? Again, Reigns has barely been mentioned by either of these guys. Like that, He has not been... 
the focus for either one of these, especially not even his opponent, right? Like Cody. And you can certainly poke holes in that and say, well, maybe that they should have done that, right? Maybe WWE should have had way more focus on Cody and Reigns to this point, but they still have time. We're still a couple weeks away from WrestleMania, and we know this has all been put in motion over the past little bit. You don't have to just blatantly point it out every single week that Cody's going to face Reigns. We know that. And we know these two don't like each other because the history's there going back to last year's WrestleMania. But the fact that Reigns has not been mentioned, now you are putting a leader of a pack, right? Like Roman is the leader of the bloodline. He's the tribal chief. He's the head of the table. And even though he knows that seemingly we've seen his responses, he feels threatened, right? Like there's there's a threat potentially from The Rock. Roman's not dumb. He knows that. He knows the threats there because we pointed out the little things that make you understand that Reigns sees that. But this is now his time. And I think SmackDown on Friday has to be the spot where you see Roman Reigns reassert his dominance as the leader of the pack. And, you know, that's just that psychological stuff, right? All those kind of things, right? Like everybody kind of points out when you study all that kind of stuff, that's what it comes down to. If you have, you know, an animal that is the leader of this pack, he has to kind of put himself as the dominant one, right? The alpha male in the whole entire equation. Roman Reigns has to do that because who's not going to be there on Friday? The Rock's not going to be there. At least we don't think he is because that was the agreement is that no member of the bloodline will be in sight except for Paul Heyman. So it will be Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Cody Rhodes. That's what we think. Now, could there be some shenanigans where the bloodline tries to outsmart Cody, and all of a sudden, here comes Jimmy, here comes Solo, there's no one there to help Cody? Or could The Rock show up, and all of a sudden we realize, wait a second, maybe The Rock's not actually a member of the bloodline, and there's different ways you can go. I don't think that's going to happen. But the thing is, this is going to be Roman's time to shine because there is not going to be you know the focus on the rock although i will tell you here's what i do think is going to happen i do think you're going to get chance for the rock right there's no doubt that the crowd will play into this you will have people chanting for the rock even though he's not there and that is again i think going to bring out that frustration in roman reigns it's going to bring out roman in a setting where now even when the rock's not there the crowd doesn't want to acknowledge Roman Reigns. They just want to talk about The Rock. And so he's overshadowing everything, even when he's not in the same ring, in the same building. He's still overshadowing Roman Reigns in what is a huge match for Roman Reigns, trying to keep his championship, trying to keep the streak going, all of this other stuff at WrestleMania. So this, again, has been put in motion by The Rock. He has forced Roman Reigns to have to essentially deliver a, a promo here or whatever he decides to do inside of this ring on SmackDown. This has to be one of the biggest parts of the story. And I don't think there's any question about it. They cannot fumble this because this is a setting where you are putting everything now on Roman Reigns to be the tribal chief, to be the leader of the pack. Like I said, to sort of reassert himself as the biggest part of this entire equation. It can't be the rock. It can't be Cody. It has to be Roman Reigns. He's the man with the title. He's the man with the championship. The champion is is top bill, right? Like he he's the top billing on the marquee. It's the champion. And so Cody is going to push his buttons. We have no question about that. I think that should be Cody's focus. If we want to look at it from Cody's standpoint, he has to push at all those insecurities of Roman Reigns. Everything we've talked about. Reigns giving the hug to the Rock after he acknowledged him. That sigh of relief that we saw from Roman Reigns. That had to feed his ego. He needed that from The Rock. He needed to at least exhale a little bit to feel like, okay, I'm still the tribal chief. The Rock is acknowledging me. Essentially, I've made it, right? Like, I've made it. I'm the tribal chief now. Even The Rock's acknowledging me. But as things have gone on since then, we've seen this again, become more and more about The Rock, become more and more about The Rock and Cody Rhodes, and not about Roman Reigns. And how is the crowd going to respond when Reigns asks to acknowledge him? You're either going to get Rocky chance or they're not going to acknowledge him the way they used to. And that's got to bring out the best of Roman Reigns on this week's edition of SmackDown. There's no other choice. He has to be the one that's in control of the situation. Reigns can't be reactive here. He has to be the one that is essentially, again, he's setting the tone here. He has to set the tone for everything to come from now until WrestleMania 40. It can't be about The Rock doing it every single time. It can't be about Cody doing it every single time. He's the champion. 
He's the head of the table. He's the tribal chief. He is the person who all of this is centered around, right? At least he should be. He hasn't been, but he should be that guy that everything is focused on because he's the guy who has the most important prize that anybody would want and anybody should want based on what he has done with that championship over the past whatever year, how many years now, right? So Reigns has to be in control of everything. And I think this is also a situation because he does have to be in control of everything here. Could that lead to the eventual downfall now to where Reigns is so frustrated, he's so aggravated with the way that all this is gone, and Cody starts pushing his buttons, do we again start to see that paranoia set in from Roman Reigns, and do we start to see some of that come out starting this week? We've already seen a little bit, but does it take take it up a notch this week now that you have Cody in there who's going to say things that while Reigns may not want to believe it's true, he probably inside knows that it's true. When Cody starts saying some things about The Rock and the dynamic between the two, uh, and would it surprise me at all to see Cody basically refer to Roman Reigns as The Rock's cousin and not as The Rock's tribal chief and those kind of things. I think there's a lot you can do with these promos, and that is something I will say if you look at this. WWE has done a good job of, like again, pushing the right type of themes in these promos and having the responses um, and all of that. So I, I think they're going to deliver something really special here on SmackDown. And again, I think they have to because these are the two guys you're building for the biggest match of the entire weekend. Sure, the tag team match is huge on night one, but the night two main event is everything. That's what everything is building towards. So you have to deliver something really special here, and that's why I think this has put Roman Reigns in a spot. The Rock taking control of every situation, being you know kind of the, the big brother, as we've said, to Roman Reigns' little brother, now it's time for Roman Reigns to regain that spot. And while The Rock won't be there, this is where Reigns has to shine. He has to be the guy again. He has to have that aura about him, whereas really over the past month or so, it's not been there as much as it has been before because the aura has been about The Rock, right? He's the guy, the Hollywood star, all this other stuff coming back to save the day, uh, to, you know, put himself, well, he wouldn't put himself into the bloodline. Roman invited him into the bloodline, but that, again, has also feeded the frustration. But The Rock is looking like the person who's the biggest part of the bloodline. So now it's time for Reigns to make a big decision here. Is he going to sit back and let everyone else control this thing the way that they have for weeks now? Or does Roman Reigns reassert himself as the leader of the pack as the alpha male of WWE, because I think that's exactly what he has to do. And unfortunately for Reigns, the person that put him in this position was his own cousin, The Rock, because of everything that has led to this point. And I think we are going to get one of the most must-see face-to-faces, promos, all of that on SmackDown, because I think they know, WWE has to know, that this could be the one that sends this story into another direction. And I think all the combustible elements are there with Cody pushing Roman's buttons, with Roman knowing that he has to, again, kind of put himself at the forefront and there's no rock to steal the spotlight, at least not directly. Indirectly, he could via the fans, but there's a lot at stake here. And there's a lot at stake, maybe more than anybody, for Roman Reigns, the tribal chief. So, There are my thoughts on uh, what I think is next with Roman Reigns as he gets ready uh, to deliver what I think could be the promo of his life on SmackDown on Friday. Let me know what you think, guys. What what does Roman need to say? What does Roman need to do in this face-to-face with Cody Rhodes? Um, And how will he address the situation that is just kind of hanging over him right now with The Rock and all of that? How does Roman Reigns respond? We will find out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Always enjoy the feedback. Lots of great discussion. We love this storyline. I'm not saying every little part of it's been great, um, but there are so many things that it's just, it's so fun to kind of read into everything that's going on here and try to guess what's happening next. They keep you off guard, uh, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see how this plays out on the road to WrestleMania 40. So appreciate you guys watching as always. Hit that subscribe button. New channel here. 
Just love talking professional wrestling. I really love talking the storyline, as you guys know. We'll have a lot more stuff here on the channel in terms of addressing a lot of other things going on in the world of wrestling, but we have just been locked in to this segment and this storyline uh, involving the Bloodline, The Rock, and Cody Rhodes on the road to WrestleMania 40. So let me know your thoughts. What's next? Does Roman Reigns have to do it? Has The Rock forced him to reassert himself as the true leader of the Bloodline?